喺九月八號咧，英女王就已經與世長辭啦，印證住一個時代嘅終結。唔知呢度嘅人又對呢件事有啲咩感受咧？同埋呢度嘅人又會對新時代新國王有啲咩睇法咧？咁我哋喺條街度就問下啲英國人，佢哋有咩睇法咯？ So, what does the Queen means to you? She represents the UK. She was a great woman with a strong character. I went down to London to pay my respect. I'm not British. I'm mm. Italian, but she definitely represents a piece, a, a part of like a living history. So, even I'm not British, she was my queen as well. Probably、um, felt、um, more than some British people do. Doing here, I'm sorry. Just know she exists. Who, who she? I don't know. She was a very nice lady. As herself, I personally not too much of a fan of the monarchy, but obviously it is、um, very sad to hear the news. Not a huge amount, to be honest. <laughs> Death is always sad. The royal family. I'm not really a fan. I don't really care.、Mm. I think the acts that they've committed. Uh, that represent our country have done horrible things to other countries. The Queen might have died, yes, but how many other people died on the same day? I get it. She 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 was an amazing woman, but not everything she did, I am proud of as an English citizen. To so I think I'm I'm not exactly sad. I mean, I'm sad at anyone's passing. To me, it's not really much different.、Um, yeah, I feel kind of the same. I mean, she was cute, wasn't she? It's was like the nation's grandma or whatever. But I think when you think deeper into it, it's just like there's a lot of layers to it. Queen to me, I mean, personally, I wasn't very much of a royalist. Personally, and it's incredibly sad,、um, obviously. But she lived a good life, a long life. The things that she represents, and like what the royal family represents. I know that she didn't do those things personally, but she also had a lot of control and power that she didn't exercise that she could have. I, I don't think was right. I don't think that was correct. She's not part of my family. She's not part of my life. Were you sad or upset when you heard the news? No.、Uh, an old woman. I'm not from England, so she was a figurehead, like somebody who sets an example for everybody to follow. The younger generation like don't know what the Queen has done. We don't get taught it in schools at all. Really? I think she symbolises for other people like something that they can look up to and all of that. There's a lot of other stuff like. About the whole family itself, you know, you got Prince Andrew and all of he's done. But I think for the older generation, especially like my nan was like crying over the fact that she died. Yeah. For people our age, I don't think she wasn't a big impact on us. Like, I think people look up look up to more like pop stars and people that they can relate to. But you know, like when anyone dies, you have to be respectful. Percy, I don't really know the Queen. When I hear her, I think I she was born into power. I don't really know what she does for the country per se. But I think that、uh, she does do. Something important. I mean, my opinion. I think the queen played a very important role. In Any expectation from the new king? I'm not sure that somebody really needs the king. No, <laughs> not at all. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, not really. To be honest, I'm not expecting any difference. It's still the same shit, the same power. I'm sorry, I don't know if I can swear.、So. Um, yeah, exactly the same. I think Charles is probably not in a position where he's like super excited to be king because obviously, in, like his interviews and stuff, he just kind of looked a bit disappointed to have to be there. But I don't know. It depends how long he's in charge for, as such, and how long it is before we have a young king. To be honest, I don't really expect much. Exact same what he said. I think he should. Just take the place of the queen, do what she did, and maybe even try even harder than she did. I just hope that maybe less taxpayers' money might go towards the royal family. No, just maybe stop being racist. I feel like he's said a lot of racist things, and he's had a lot of very, very strong, controversial opinions. And to have a king that has got those opinions is bit, is a bit questionable, and it shouldn't be part of our culture. And I'm not proud of it.、Uh, not really. I don't think the monarchy does a lot.、Um, I think it's up to whoever's in parliament to try and sort some stuff out. I don't. I don't know. I don't. I'm not a big fan of Prince Charles, especially because I feel he's been in her shadow for ages. Because、mm. she's he's got the throne now, and and he's much older. Um, I, I, he's a bit out of touch, I think, with society、mm. oh, as well. Like,、yeah. especially because you've got Prince William, who's younger, who's had all of this, and you know, really been involved in like the way that teenagers and their life. Whereas, like, when you look at Prince Charles, especially, nobody can get past the whole Diana situation、mm. yeah. as well. Yeah. Like that's a big thing. I I think the expectation of him is to do the same as the Queen. But I heard about like he wants to get into like political views as well. I think he should just kind of stay away from us, especially. But the reason we do this interview is because、um, in our culture, 
when someone pass away, you have to be sad. So it just to us, uh, we see in Western culture, it's more like a um, chance for people to get together yeah. and do like a, not celebration, but like a... It's yeah, happier. Yeah. What do you and, think of that? And like? I'm absolutely all behind that. However, I can't sit here and, you know, celebrate someone I don't appreciate their actions. I, what I see, a lot of people are cheering the new king mm -hmm. as well mm -hmm. as obviously paying, paying tribute to the queen as well. I remember when my gun died after the funeral was a, a gathering of remembering her life mm -hmm. rather than like dwelling in sadness. Mm -hmm. I feel like there's a bit of a, an archaic <laughs> England has to be in mourning <laughs> for the next two weeks. Um, I, I think it's nicer to remember the good things people did rather mm -hmm. than get too caught up in the sadness. Celebration of life I think is the best way to look at it when anyone dies because you, you have to look about the fact that they lived a good life rather than be sad at the fact they've died. The process, it would have happened at least after a month. Mm. Not yeah, like yeah. the following day, yeah. I mean, on the, on the 8th, mm. she passed away, unfortunately, and mm. everybody was upset. And on the 9th, mm. it was like a, a celebration, you know, mm. and, and I just <laughs> feeling like there is nothing to celebrate. Mm. Yeah, she, yeah. I found a bit disrespectful for yeah. towards the Queen, actually. You can't just like switch from uh, like from sorrow to mm. celebration. Yeah, true. My <laughs> dear. 英國人才有這種感覺